What's up guys, my name is Westy and I'm back again today with another Battlefield 4 video for you guys. And today I've got a little bit of a talking point. I'm going to be talking about game modes that I'd like to see in Battlefield 4. Obviously there's no point in making a video about my opinion if I don't want to know about yours as well. So once the video, you've watched it all, you've seen my opinion, feel free to comment in the comment section below telling me what game mode you'd like to see in Battlefield 4. Okay, so first up are Rush and Conquest. These are pretty much bread and butter for Battlefield now, and Rush is perhaps one of my favourite game modes for the whole Battlefield franchise. I love the way in Battlefield 3 that it tried to promote teamwork as much as it could. On consoles it worked better because I felt if you had the comm system, you were able to talk to the people in your squad and you could try and make attack movements based with that. But for PC it was much harder, but still I found that the larger maps and the larger player counts on PC made for some really good games of Rush. And Conquest I think is the king game mode for Battlefield 3 and I think that's going to translate forward into Battlefield 4. Rumours are the maps are going to be like two times bigger than the ones we're seeing now in Battlefield 3 and the detail in those as well is going to be about two to three times more considering we're using sort of a brand new engine Frostbite 3 but it's really just rebranded to Frostbite 2.5. So we can expect to see some great looking maps for Conquest and I, w I can't wait to see how they're going to build Conquest around these maps. What we saw for Battlefield 3 was the flag layout for Conquest. It was more clustered into the middle of the larger maps. What I'd like to see in Battlefield 4 is DICE take those flag points and push them towards the edges of the map and maybe have one central location. This way the whole of the map can be utilised to its full extent. Obviously I don't think we can go without a Battlefield game now without having Team Deathmatch in it. Team Deathmatch, Nosh Arkanals pretty much set the standard for any COD players who wanted to come across, they could find a game mode that suited them. And we found that Team Deathmatch in Battlefield 3 can produce some really good maps. I recently did a video on endgame TDM maps which I think are great by the way, so if you want to check that video out it is on the screen now and in the link below in the description. Just make sure you check that out if you want to see any of the t endgame TDM tips that I've come up with. But personally I think TDM is a great game mode for Battlefield because the way you level up after the kernel levels it's quite a lot of points between each sort of promotion kind of thing and um, I'd really like to see that in Battlefield 4 the way that TDM works now where you can grind yourself towards the next objective, next assignment, next gun unlock, whatever you want it's a great way to grind towards your next sort of goal. I'd really like to see a variant of Conquest Domination make its way into Battlefield 4 much the same way as TDM uses a smaller portion of the map. Perhaps we could see Conquest Domination on all of the maps but only using a certain section. Obviously you'd have to have some sort of vertical manner to each map, perhaps using one section, maybe a building that's got three or four floors, because in Battlefield 3 Conquest Domination worked around the way of vertical gameplay and HD destruction, and uh, I think that would translate well into Battlefield 4, but it would have to be refined somewhat. And the way EA are marketing this game, I could see Conquest Domination making a feature almost definitely. Because of the way they've been using Call of Duty commentators to promote the game, Conquest Domination is pretty much a carbon copy of Domination from Call of Duty. So a lot of players could find a home here. Next one I'd like to see is Scavenger. Now I really enjoyed this game mode when it came out with the Aftermath DLC for Battlefield 3 and I'd love it to translate across to Battlefield 4. However I would think that the sort of system for the guns could be tweaked slightly. The way it worked in the Aftermath DLC was that DICE decided to use a set group of guns that would spawn in different ranked positions around the map. Now I'm all for that having different ranked positions closer to objectives and certain things like that, but I would like to see not just one group of guns being used, but perhaps all the guns being used and randomised across the map. I think what they did with scavenger mode was put guns in that people wouldn't really use or sort of setups that people wouldn't use as often as they would let's say with the AEK and the M16. They would put something like the AUG in there. I'm not exactly sure which one it was, I think it might have been the Scar L or the Scar H they used to put in there. But it was something that people didn't use as often and I was all for that. But I think there should have been a way to let maybe server admins tweak what guns could have gone into that game. And the final game mode I'd like to see in Battlefield 4 is obviously Capture the Flag. In Endgame for Battlefield 3 this was perhaps the best game mode for all four maps. I love the way that you could just use C4 to launch bikes across the map, that was really good fun for me. But it also encouraged a lot of high speed movement, you couldn't camp too much, there were the extremes where you could just literally sit in your own base and camp or you could sit at the enemy's base and camp and wait for the flag to respawn and then just take it. But I did find that in bigger servers in PC, perhaps 32 man servers, a lot more teamwork was going on and uh, with a bit of comms in the background, perhaps Skype for PC and uh, on consoles, you could work your way around all the mines and C4 that were placed around the bases. With a lot of teamwork, this game mode did work. 
And as I mentioned earlier in the video, we do know that DICE is going to be using Frostbite 3 or Frostbite 2.5 for these maps so that we can make massively vast maps, perhaps on the scale of Bandar Desert for Battlefield 4. Now personally, I'd love to see Capture the Flag on Bandar Desert just because of how far you could travel. Attack helicopters, I think, would work in uh, Capture the Flag on Bandar Desert. That would be a great game mode that I'd love to see in Battlefield 4. So those are pretty much the ones that I want to see. Now there are other things that I'm thinking about in my head, but they're not really realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to you guys. So if you've got any game modes that you'd like to see in Battlefield 4, anything that you've thought up yourself or seen in forums like that, drop it in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. But anyway guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and comments are always appreciated. I do try and reply to as many as possible. I am doing a community montage for my 100th sort of video, so if you've got any amazing clips from Battlefield 3 at any point in the game, then don't forget to send me a private message with a link to an unlisted video of that clip, and you may find it heading up into one of my videos very soon. But that's it for this video guys, my name is Westy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.